Uh oh, hello, darlings. So um, we just talked about carving and inscribing on your candles. So there's one other way that you can really help to infuse your ritual and the candle with your intention, and that is to write a petition. So I like to write my petition on paper bags and parchment. So I buy parchment paper, okay? And I will tear a piece of this and um, write my intentions on it. However, and when I do write, I do, like I said, um, I like to be color coordinated. So I write in color and I write whatever it is um, my intention is for that candle. So in addition to carving, you can write what's called a petition. And when you do that, you can place that underneath the candle, um, the candle holder. Um, and if you're burning it for someone else, you can even put a picture neck of that person next to the candle. And so that it helps to, uh, again, focus your intention so that you can draw the desired results. So when I write a petition, the other thing that I will sometimes do, I'm a fire sign, I love fire. So I will often burn my petitions. I just love to set things aflame. And so uh, at the Botanica that I shop at, they wrap everything for me in their paper bags, right? So depending on, um, you know, what, how many things I've bought. And so the reason that I keep their paper bags and I tear them, as you can see, to write my petitions on them. But the reason that I keep them is because they are already in a magical place. And so if you understand a thing called, wait just a minute, if you understand a thing called resonance, right? So everything in the Botanica is already magically infused because it is resonating with everything around it. So by writing my petition on the paper that comes from the Botanica, I just feel like the paper itself is already supercharged with magic. And it just adds that much more to, um, to what I'm doing and to the intention that I have put into uh, my candles. So you can do both. You can inscribe on the candle and the container and still write a petition. There's no right or wrong way to do it unless you're following someone else's uh, spell or ritual step by step. Um, either way is right. You do what's best for you. And now he's in here messing with my rocking chair. <laughs> you do what's best for you. You do what um, seems natural to you. You're going to do what resonates with you. And I will see you in the next video.